Tonight on Denver 7 News at 5, Broncos country, are you ready to ride? Broncos country, let's ride! In just over an hour, they'll face off against the Seattle Seahawks in a game you will see right here on Denver 7. From the Mile High City to the Emerald City, we've got you covered. Broncos insider Troy Rank and reporter Nick Rothschild are live in Seattle, where Russell Wilson faces off against the franchise that made him a sports star. My focus has always been on winning. It's about just going to win a football game. Jason Grenauer is outside Lumen Stadium with Denver fans in Seattle ready to support the Broncos' new quarterback. You know, I believe I'm one of the best in the world. Let's ride. Back here in Denver, Micah Smith is with fans bursting at the seams. Let's ride. As we start an all-new era in Broncos football. You know we're ready. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for this hour long edition of Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Andrew Hill. And I'm Shannon Ogden and we are glad you're with us tonight. Broncos country, it's here. Game day is finally here and Denver 7 has you covered with all the action. Tonight right here on Denver 7, the Broncos open the season in Seattle. Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson will be returning to his old turf, ready to prove that he can carry another team to Super Bowl victory. And with the new head coach, new ownership, there is new energy running throughout the Broncos organization. So let's uh, kick things off, uh, shall we? So we do have team coverage for you throughout the hour on everything Broncos. We have crews with fans here in Denver and in Seattle, along with our sports team, getting you ready for the game. All right, we're going to begin with our export sports director, Lionel Bienvenue, here in the studio with us. Six months now since Russell signed here and uh, Broncos fans finally get to see this guy play. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> the presents here. Open it up. Yeah, it's one of the biggest opening nights in uh, Broncos history, Shannon. The hype and the glitz and the glamour in this game, it is off the charts for us <laughs> and for Broncos fans, not for Russell Wilson. He'll have none of it. <laughs> we talked to Russell about going back to Seattle tonight. The reception he might get, he said he doesn't matter. He's focused on football and winning the game. Nothing else matters. I don't worry about all that stuff. I mean, people... Um, you know, have opinions and thoughts and ideas and everybody has their own right to think what they th want to think. You know, I, I know how the whole thing went and how it, how it transpired and just the whole situation, but also at the same, same time too, I know that, uh, you know, I, I, every second of it I've, I've enjoyed, you know, uh, in terms of being there and just trying to give my all every day. You know, that's, that's all I know. I believe in my talent, who I am, and you know, I believe I'm one of the best in the world. I don't worry about anything else other than that. At the end of the day, you still got to get prepared the same way you always get prepared. And I think that when you get outside of that realm and start thinking about everything else or, start, you know, detailing this or detailing that or trying to worry about this and worry about that, you're wasting time. You know, I don't think winners don't waste time on, on, on things that have nothing to do with the game. It'll definitely be an experience I've never experienced before, <laughs> um, but it'll also be an experience that I'm going to uh, enjoy the journey of it all. You know, my focus is going to be on joy. My focus is going to be on my teammates and us playing our best football that we can possibly play against a really good football team. Well, this was Russell arriving at Lumen Field tonight in a light green shiny suit. I mean, anything green tonight? It's a little strange. The Seahawks colors are green. It's Orange Monday. <laughs> Whatever. Here's Russ. He changed into his Broncos gear and took the field for the first time for warmups. He'll be in his number three game jersey. Broncos soon enough. All right, let's get live to Seattle in the Newman Field right now. Sports anchor Nick Rothschild and Broncos inside of Troy Rank are there, guys. Hey, guys, Russell is taking the field. It's almost game time here. Oh, Lionel, the Russell Wilson revenge tour is in full swing here at Lumen Field. The place is vibrating, and Russell wasn't just out here warming up. He's been out here kissing babies, signing autographs, Troy, and hugging former teammates, of course, on the Seattle side. Yes, listen, Russell Wilson's confident here. He's 19-4, and four, Nick, in primetime games here. He's also 10-3 and three on Monday night. Lionel, I think that lime green suit was a bit of trolling, Nick. I really do. But it's not just about Russell Wilson. They need this defense to play well. The leader of that defense is Justin Simmons. I sat down with him this week to talk about this game and restoring this franchise. It's glory. It's real. We're at game week, Seattle. What's it going to be like in that environment, Monday night, prime time, Russell going back to play face his former team? Oh, it's going to be crazy, hostile, loud. Um, but it's going to be exciting. I mean, it's why you play, you know, from a defense's perspective to, uh, you know, go in there and to silence the home crowd. Uh, there's no better feeling in sports, so I'm excited. You've told me multiple times going against Russell in practice has made you guys better. This week, do you lean on him for any tips regarding their offense and their schemes? Do you, do you get some inside info from your quarterback? Oh, yeah, of course. You have to, you know, you have to. You have to, you have to find out. I mean, he spent all of his career there 
uh, was really successful and you always want to pick the brain about you know if they're in this situation if they're in this situation if they're you know leaning on this guy more leaning on this guy you know what's the game plan you think you've been pro bowl you've been all pro you've been paid you're considered one of the best players in the league but one thing that's not on your resume playoffs winning season how much does that motivate you Justin at this point in your career that's the only thing um, is winning you know in my six years going on to year seven now playing with the team um, I've never been in the playoffs and uh, the closest I've been was my my rookie year right after you know Denver won the uh, won the Super Bowl so uh, it's crazy, you know. I've I've seen a lot of my colleagues that I've trained with go on to play in the playoffs. Um, I always feel like I'm watching it after the season, and uh, it's just not a good feeling to have. So, um, you know, this year is, is is playoffs. Yeah, it's about restoring glory for this franchise. It's a new start, Nick. We saw the owners here, Greg. Penner, Kerry Walton Penner, they were on the sideline. That tells you how big this game is. And Rob Walton, right before we came on air, strolled behind us. So it is a star-studded night at Lumen Field. It's hot on the field, Lionel, and we haven't even got to kickoff yet. Plenty more to come. Back to you. All right, thanks, guys. We will uh, see you a little bit later on in the show, live from Seattle. Right now, and let's go back to you. All right, thank you for that. And back here in Colorado, of course, fans cannot wait to finally see if Russell Wilson is worth the hype. Denver 7's Micah Smith, she's joining us live now. Breckenridge Brewery in Littleton and Micah fans are already starting to show up early. Make sure they have a seat with a view for the big game, right? Absolutely, Ann. And here at Breckenridge Brewery, there's actually two big screens. We're standing near one of them, which is why it's so loud. But hey, we're just capturing the ambiance of the place. There is a huge party planned for the brewery tonight. The cheerleaders will be arriving soon by cheerleaders. I mean, Broncos cheerleaders, as well as several Broncos alum. So lots of things planned and not to mention super fans. I'm talking about the best fans that a franchise could ask for. I met one woman. Her outfit alone stopped me dead in her tracks, I, in my tracks that is, and I had to ask her about it. Take a listen. Well, long story short, I do have a lot of um, autoimmune issues, and one of them is I can only wear 100% cotton and white. So I had to find a way as a fan to still be able to have a little bit of color to show my flair for and love for the team. Absolutely. And the players actually call me orange and blue for the pigtails. Gotta love it. That is Mary Brennan, and she actually gives out stickers with her face on it. Got to love that even more. Now, listen up. You're going to hear more from Mary tonight because she is taking part in our 360 coverage. We have special 360 coverage on how to score tickets this season, so she's going to give us her very special tips on that. As far as the party here happening at Breckenridge Brewery in Littleton, I saw a few dog super fans arrive just a moment ago, so I'm going to go hang out with them for a little bit. I'll be checking back in with you, though, during our special extended coverage coming up in about 30 minutes or so. But for now, reporting live, Micah Smith, Denver 7. Uh, sounds fun out there already. Of course, you know this season there is definitely a new energy in the air in Colorado surrounding our team. And the Broncos say they're ready to turn things around and have a winning season. Now, is it possible to go from a losing season to Super Bowl champions? Well, going deeper tonight, in the last 75 years, just five NFL teams have gone from a losing season to winning the Lombardi. The most recent teams on the list include the 2001 Patriots, the 2017 Eagles, and the 2020 Buccaneers. And all those teams lost more than half of their regular season games the year before they won the Super Bowl. Now, to top last season's record, the Broncos need at least eight wins this year. Piece of cake, and who knows, maybe the Super Bowl trophy will follow.